let us try to understand how to measure the gauge pressure using u tube manometer here we have shown the u tube manometer this is the left leg of the u tube manometer and this is the right leg of the u tube manometer both these ends they are open to the atmosphere so naturally at both the ends there will be atmospheric pressure that is acting now suppose we fill this u tube manometer with the help of manometric fluid as shown over here now as the pressure that is acting at both the ends is the atmospheric pressure therefore the level of the manometric liquid that is present in the two legs or two limbs will also be the same now suppose we want to measure the pressure of the liquid that is flowing through this particular pipe and let us assume that the pressure of the liquid that is flowing through this pipe is higher than the atmospheric pressure so when we connect this left leg to the pipe then as the pressure of the liquid that is flowing through the pipe is higher than the atmospheric pressure and therefore the level of the manometric liquid will go down in the left leg and will go up in the right leg let us assume that the pipe which is carrying the fluid whose pressure we want to measure is having specific gravity s1 and specific weight gamma1 similarly the manometric fluid is having specific gravity s2 and specific weight gamma2 now let us connect the left leg to the pipe so the liquid will enter inside this particular pipe in the left leg of the u tube manometer from the pipe and it will force the level of the manometric liquid in the left leg in the downward direction and the corresponding rise will be there in the corresponding rise of the manometric liquid will be there in the right leg this a point is known as the gauge point this xx is known as the reference point now from the center of the pipeline up to this xx the pressure head is h1 and from xx up to this level of the mercury or manometric fluid suppose the level is h2 now we want to measure the pressure at point a so we will apply the pressure balance equation over here so we can say that pressure above xx in the left leg is equal to pressure above xx in the right leg so in the left leg we are having the pressure that is acting at point a that is pa plus pressure corresponding to this head h1 that is gamma1 h1 because we know that the liquid that is present in the pipeline is having specific weight of gamma so gamma 1 h1 this is the pressure because of this particular head pressure head h1 is equal to pressure above xx in the right limb so here the liquid that is present is manometric fluid and its specific weight is gamma 2 so pressure will be gamma 2 into h2 corresponding to this pressure head plus zero because this limb it is open to the atmosphere and at at atmosphere gauge pressure is what it is zero so we can say that this is pa that is pressure at a plus gamma 1 h1 corresponding to this head h1 is equal to this gamma 2 h2 because of this head h2 plus zero because this end is open to the atmosphere and at atmosphere gauge pressure is zero now transfer this term gamma 1 h1 on the other side so it is gamma 2 h2 minus gamma 1 h1 so this is the pressure at point a in pascal or newton per meter square so in this way we can measure the gauge pressure using u tube manometer